about to hit you with it. I'm about to hit you with them. I'm about to hit you with the 10 movies that you played on repeat in the 80s and early 90s. Those movies that had that replay value. Here we go. First off, Three Ninjas. I'm talking about Rocky, Cole, Tum Tum. Them eight to 12 year olds getting that savage martial arts training. From who? From their grandpa? That old dude? Yeah, that grandpa. Yo, they had these dudes out here beating up idiotic kidnappers. They had these young cats out here fighting these ninja soldiers. They had these dudes out here lighting up the eyes, boys. Light up the eyes. Jelly beans were never the same after grandpa stuffed them bad boys down Schneider's throat. What is that? A canned telephone? Had to try that out. First time I ever seen that in my life. Next up, we got Crooklyn. We got that Brooklyn. That Crooklyn. Yo, Spike Lee made it. Spike Lee made a phenomenal movie in this Crooklyn. I don't know what it was about this joint that had my generation loving it and playing it on repeat every damn day. Maybe it was the, the fact that my lights could have got turned out at any moment in a month. Maybe it was the fact that there were so many artists out here that wasn't getting no work. But I was like, damn, yo, I wish you the best of luck. Maybe it was because I would have got my ass beat if I got my mama's food stamp stolen. Boy! Don't come back from that store empty handed. The catchy songs, that down south for the summer treatment. Crooklyn, beautiful movie. Jurassic Park, though? Yo, I'm talking about my man Steven Spielberg playing God with the mosquitoes and the amber and the blood of the dinosaurs. I'm talking about you couldn't tell me and my siblings nothing. You couldn't tell us they wasn't reanimated creatures from long ago because we believed it and looked that real. It was that groundbreaking cinematography, that groundbreaking special effects. The special effects was crazy. Yo, I'm talking about my man Jeff Goldblum my, with the sexy walk up. Killing it in the 90s. I'm talking about Jurassic Park. One of the greatest, one of the most. I, I can't even, yo. I can't even. Home Alone? Home Alone, my man's in them? I can't bangs with you if you ain't have that. Home Alone 1 and 2 on VHS tape, on repeat. Every Christmas, I couldn't bangs with you if you ain't have it on repeat. My man Kevin, my man Kevin, Kevin out here with the blueprints, with the schematics. He knew every which and way, every nook and cranny of his house because he knew them bandits was coming. Them wet bandits was coming and he wasn't about to let his hood get taken up. He wasn't about to let his house get robbed. He was going to hold it down. He was going to come with the tips, the tricks, the paint, the tax, the iciness, everything. He pulled out all the stops. My man was a prankster, a trickster. He had everything down and my man held his his hood down like Jeezy said put on for your hood he put it on and he didn't let them kidnappers kidnap him he didn't let them robbers steal nothing from his crib he held it down my man Kevin home alone one then two lost in New York might be even more greatness karate kid and the last dragon yeah I'm cheating I'm throwing two at you because they was kung fu greatness I'm talking about my man my man Daniel son with the crane kick my man Mr. Miyagi with the fly yo yo Karate Kid is still top five in martial arts gross and movies out there 30 30 plus years later still top five and then you talking about the last dragon Leroy Green that Leroy glow yo who's the baddest when I say who's the master you say show enough I can't, I can't hear you. Show sure enough. That's enough. Don't get it twisted. Mighty Ducks was a low key, dark as hell 90s movie. Yo, I'm talking about Gordon Bombay, the corporate lawyer, a-hole. This dude out here getting court ordered to go to go help out the kids in the community. This this no income having low money. No equipment having team. He rolled up into the Mighty Ducks team and he was like, you know what? This was a passion of mine from back in the day. This is a passion of mine. Yo, let's not forget. Let's not forget how dark this movie is. In the first 10 minutes, my man gets a DWI. Can you imagine the movie in 2017 where the main plot device is a man getting a DWI in the first damn scene? Nope. Nope. But he did. He did and he came back. He had that redemption story. He had these kids out here triple deacon like beasts. Slap shots like kings. Yo, he was out here with the limo on the ice doing spots. Yo, Mighty 
Ducks was Flames.